an attack in Amber Alert and Days of Searching. This is the story of Winter Cole Smith, a two-year-old girl whose life tragically ended far too soon. The disappearance of Winter Cole Smith was initially reported on Sunday, July 2nd, 2023, after her mother and her mother's ex-boyfriend got into an argument, allegedly over money. The arguing soon turned to violence, and at some point in the argument, Winter's mother stabbed her ex-boyfriend in self-defense, before he then stabbed her repeatedly. She managed to get away, and she went to her mother's nearby apartment, and called the police to report the violent assault. But in all that panic and chaos, she accidentally left her two children behind. One was a one-year-old boy who was the son of the person who attacked her, and the other was her two-year-old daughter, Winterville Smith, who was not the daughter of the man who attacked her. When police arrived on the scene, the one-year-old was still there, but the attacker and Winter were gone breaking news and Amber Alert out of Lansing. The alert issued for two-year-old Winter Smith. Police say the man suspected of taking her has ties to Detroit. Let's get to Rod Maloney. Lansing police immediately issued an Amber Alert blitzing cell phones, TVs, radios, and road signs to help aid them in their search for Winter and the suspect Rashad Trice, who they believe were in a white 2013 Chevy Impala. I love y'all, but I have to end this shit, man. Rashad allegedly texted his uncle after leaving Lansing, according to court documents. Rashad drove to the St. Clair Shores area of Michigan, which is about 90 miles from Lansing where the initial assault took place, and that is where an officer saw the white Impala from the Amber Alert and began to chase the car. Rashad allegedly crashed the car after trying to free from police and then tried to disarm an officer before he was apprehended. When the FBI searched the car, they found significant amounts of blood and a pink cell phone charging cord, but Winter was nowhere to be found. So police, along with the FBI, began knocking on doors and they also deployed search dogs. They asked people for their doorbell security footage, they launched helicopters, drones, and they even deployed a dive team. The FBI also announced a $25,000 reward for any information that would help them locate Winter. We just want to find her, Winter's father told the Detroit Free Press. Winter's 22-year-old mother was nearby as volunteers searched a suburb north of the city with the hopes of finding her daughter but there is still no sign of winter. Then that evening, FBI agents made a discovery. We begin tonight with breaking news. It's devastating news. The search for the little girl kidnapped from Lansing appears to have reached a tragic end. Winter's body was found in a Detroit alley on July 5th with markings that were consistent with strangulation using a charging cord, allegedly the same charging cord that they found in the car when they first apprehended Rashad. We are devastated by the tragic news that Winter Cole Smith was found deceased today. Ingham County Prosecutor John DeWayne said in a statement, Our hearts are with Winter's family as they begin to process and grieve the unnecessary loss of a beautiful two-year-old child. Prior to Winter being found, Rashad was arraigned in Ingham County on July 5th on multiple state charges in connection with the brutal physical and sexual assault that allegedly occurred on July 2nd in the apartment including assault with intent to murder, criminal sexual conduct, home invasion, and unlawful imprisonment, the Ingham County prosecutor said. Later, federal prosecutors charged him with kidnapping a minor and kidnapping resulting in death. And if convicted of the latter charge, he would face life in prison or death. A vigil was held in honor of Winter on July 7, 2023 in Detroit that was attended by family, friends, and others in the community. We are heartbroken over the loss of our beautiful daughter, granddaughter, cousin, niece, and big sister, her family said Thursday in a statement. Winter's brief but bright life was taken from her unnecessarily, and we will grieve her death forever. And that wraps up the story of Winter Cole Smith. Hopefully Winter, her family, and the community as a whole get the justice they deserve, and Rashad Trice gets punished to the full extent of the law, whatever that may be if that's life in prison or if that's death. I will truly never understand how someone could harm a child. But unfortunately, that seems to be something that happens way more than I ever thought it did. A day or two before the recording of this video, Rashad was in court and he did plead not guilty to these charges. 
So there will be an actual jury trial at some point, and hopefully the state is able to prove their case. And like I said earlier, he is punished to the full extent of the law, whatever that may be. This is truly such a tragic event. And like the family said in their statement, this is going to be something that they're going to grieve about forever. No one would ever expect to lose their two-year-old daughter, their two-year-old granddaughter, their niece, their cousin in a, a way like this. It's almost hard to comprehend how something like this is even possible. It's so sad, so tragic. But that is all for this video. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. It not only helps me, but it helps the video be pushed to more people, bring more awareness to this tragic story. Thank you guys so much for watching, and like always, I will see you next week.